Hey everybody, it's John Brown, the Bandana Gamer, coming to you with a bargain bin review. Uh, if you don't know, GameStop is doing their summer sale, game days, summer sale. And one of the things that caught my attention was SNK Hero Heroines Tag Team Frenzy for the Nintendo Switch. Um, now, I'd been trying to like stay off buying new games, but I had a little credit in the pocket and was interested in this game when it first came out it came out to some really bad reviews and it kind of fell off my radar i really like fighting games and i had been hoping this one would actually be really really good because i think a all-female fighting game is a really cool thing skull girls is a really cool game and i recommend checking that out and so with poor reviews i was figured i'd maybe wait and see if it came down in price and it did it came down a fairly significant amount to ten dollars um, and I was wondering if, you know, impressions would change if, you know, say I picked the game up for $10 compared to, say, $60 or $40. And so I spent a little bit of time with it, and I can tell you, I absolutely hate this game. Uh, this game is probably the most disappointing thing I have bought on the Nintendo Switch. Not to say it's the most disappointing game out there, it's the most disappointing game I have encountered. Uh, there is a lot of stuff on the Nintendo Switch. Um, starting off graphically, it's really, really poor. Uh, and not in a, like, oh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are better now. Like, these are really poor polygon characters that look really muted. The color palette's really weak. The level design, I mean, they're flat levels with two walls for a 2D fighting game, but there's nothing imaginative about the levels. They're a little... They have a 3D aspect to them, but they're not really creative. They're like libraries and hallways. Um, and then you have your character. It's a tag team fighting game, so you have your backup character waiting in the background to be brought in. The character designs are really lackluster and very generic. Uh, they look like you know something you could create with a kid's create anime studio. Uh, which is disappointing. I really, really like SNK Fighters. I really like Fatal Fury. I really like King of uh, King of Fighters. And I was really hoping this would be a great fighting game on the Nintendo Switch. And like I said, there's I can't even you know other than the Terry character, uh, who is a female version of Terry from Fatal Fury, I can't really distinguish anybody. Um, and their costumes don't are so distracting. Like, they don't make sense for fighting. They don't even make sense for, like, a professional wrestler would not wear these kind of costumes for a fight. They just aren't. It's so unrealistic. And I get it's a video game. I get it's fantasy. But it's so unrealistic. It breaks down. And it is something that you're noticing and interrupts gameplay. Speaking of gameplay, they tried to create Baby's first fighting game. You have one-button specials. You have basics punches and kicks and the tag is on one button and basic combos that are pretty easy to pick off um it's really weird like another weird thing that they do is when you hit the punch the character punches but like stuffed animals come out of their fist and stuffed animals come out of their kicks and other little trinkets they don't do anything they're just this weird stylistic thing it's kind of like when you hit someone on Mortal Kombat blood would come out but here it's stuffed animals. That makes no sense. It's like, I get you want to show impact, but I feel like there's a better way. I mean, there is there is a story of being like, all these female characters have been kidnapped and are in a pocket dimension and are having to fight their way out. And that's an okay story. Um... But why, when they punch, do teddy bears come out? Or stuffed foxes? So, and it it plays okay. The arcade mode is really basic, even on higher difficulties. It plays really, really easily. Uh, I didn't try to get online just because I was kind of done with it after I played around with it for a bit. So it comes down to, did, ten, did a price point of $10 change my 
opinion on this game, and would I recommend you picking this up for ten dollars? No, I really think this is a terrible game on Switch. I look forward to getting it out of the collection immediately. Uh, once again, these are just my opinions, and if you really like this game, I would love to hear why. Make sure you comment in the comment section below, and if you liked this review, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace, my friends.